Hey guys, it's Clary8 here and I have another trophy video here about it. it's essentially an experience glitch and it can also be used to done the difficulty trophies on killing floor 2. So basically what you need to do is, um, it's kind of, this is a well documented glitch. I've seen a, a few different YouTube videos on, on a few different maps. It's basically you have to back yourself into a corner and then and the enemies don't see you and they run in circles. But um, a lot of the places I tried it wouldn't work. So I, and I had difficulty even creating the match. So it did, once it worked, the very first time I managed to get the hardest difficulty trophy. So it definitely still works as of the 9th of June here. I got it free from PlayStation Plus. So I recorded it. I wasn't recording at the time actually. So I had to capture this footage from the actual PlayStation 4 footage. So I'm going to kind of walk you through exactly what I did to get the trophy. You can use it to get experience to get yourself up to level 25. Or also to be used to complete the difficulty trophies. Now what you need to do is. What I found worked for me is you have to choose not started as the game in progress. And it has to be. The permission has to be set to invite only. And the map we're going to be looking for is Burning Paris. Now I had this recurring problem where I kept on saying I was unable to find a match. Now if you have all those settings correct like I do. And this is still happening for you. Keep changing the region. It was the only way it could work for me. Um, like I said it has to be survival, burning Paris, hell on earth. Any length. Or I actually set the f um, short four waves. And the, the invite has to be invite only. So as you can see here it didn't give me the error straight away. And then I thought okay because I set the length it might actually be working here. So... But that wasn't the case, unfortunately. So I kept trying a lot of the European and the US based servers, but I kept just kept on getting the same errors. And it was only once I changed over to the Asian server that it actually did the searching for the online game. But then to my surprise, it actually launched me straight into the game, straight into a lobby here. So basically, just start the game immediately. And I'll go and I'll show you here now exactly where to go in this map once you do spawn in you can be anywhere on the map and i luckily luckily i uh, spawn in right beside it so you need to go into this building um but because i was only level 18 on a on the hardest difficulty i knew i wasn't going to survive very long so i went down this path here basically but i'll show you exactly where to go um just around this corner there, were, there was actually some boxes in the way and in the video that i seen the guy just kind of hid in the box uh, but that didn't work for me they kept on hitting me here but what i figured out was if the enemies are chasing you and they have seen you they'll still know exactly where you are so at this point i actually didn't think that the glitch was working i thought oh no it's not working it was only here now that i realized that these these guys were new enemies that had come into the room since i had killed all the other enemies and they basically weren't aware that i was here now those guys spitting that acid at you, that can still happen. So I'd be very, very wary about that and always kind of heal yourself here. It only happened for me the first round. All the second, third and fourth round that I went through with the zombies, no one hit me whatsoever. I only had a lot of trouble here in the very first round. I didn't have a lot of ammo as well, so I was kind of relying on a machete here for them to kind of get up close and all that. So I will speed it up here from now on and we'll kind of get an idea what to do at the very end of the round. So I had skipped around here now, so we're actually on the about to begin the third round. But for the, the other round, I basically just ran to the trader as quickly as possible and restocked all my ammo and went straight back to the to the pit essentially. Now, what you that's exactly what you need to do as well because you you move very very slowly. So I would suggest uh, equipping your pistol so that you run faster and get as fast as possible back to the the spot. Because you'll see here now that I actually got caught along the way, and this goes back to my theory: if the enemy has seen you, they will still hit you. And they'll kill you. Uh, they'll try kill you because they know where you are. It's only once you clear out those enemies and a new wave and a new circle of enemies come through that they can't spot you. It's like they're blind and they just keep on running around in this circle. So I, I will be speeding it up just a little bit here just to make the kind of time go a little bit faster. But like, this is basically all that they do. They just ran around in circle up in that stairs, jumping down and then running around in a circle. My suggestion is because ammo, you have to be a little bit conservative with your ammo to make sure that the big guys that you have enough and you're not macheteing them. So whenever I came down to a lot of zombies and a lot of the crawler guys on the ground, I just, I just use grenades to get them um, instead of wasting like precious shotgun bullets. So I'd recommend definitely doing that. Now, but the time you actually get to the, the final boss round, I, you're going to have a lot of money. So stock up on like lots of weapons because I definitely kept an eye on my ammo throughout this entire thing. Because this particular boss, I didn't try it on the Patriarch, unfortunately. So I've only tried it here on hands. But this guy is very, very fast. And I, I eventually found out at the very start that I was 
if I didn't um, place my shots better, um, I was basically going to run out of ammo and I'd have to machete him. And I knew that that wasn't going to work. So just get straight back in here, like I said, and crouch as well. That's an important part I, I don't think I mentioned before. So it definitely crouch, I think that definitely helps you. But this guy just runs around like a loose-headed chicken, like basically. And as you can see here, I was wasting a lot of my shots. Um, you'll notice when you're playing a solo game, you can do a lot more damage to him than when you're playing the co-op based team stuff and all that. So what I had basically was I had my two favorite shotguns, the HM Tech shotgun uh, in the support class and also this AA-12 in the support class as well so that's just me that's my character so but like I said they uh, conserve your ammo in whatever way you do it because sometimes he, he'll come up really close to here and you can get some really really good shots off on him and then other times he's just gonna run around and like it's kind of hard to get him essentially and you might be missing a lot of your ammo and once these other smaller guys come I just recommend using the grenade because more often than not you can hit off the um, you can kind of trigger the Z time which is the slow motion zombie time and if that guy is in front of you while you while you do it, you've got a good five seconds to hit him with as much damage as possible. So like I said, this is still the hell on earth difficulty and we're at the very end here. And I didn't get hit once while I was in the corner. I did get hit in the corner when I was moving into the corner away from enemies who had already seen me. But when from once I cleared those enemies and I backed myself into the corner, not one enemy nor the boss had touched me the entire game. And as you can see here, I got the, well, actually, I didn't. I barely missed him here. And because it wasn't recording in my Elgato, it doesn't record the trophy popping either. So I was pretty disappointed about that. But this this worked on my very first time. I didn't even think. I just want, I just came into this um, server to test it and to see if it would work. And I was really, really surprised I managed to do it. So that's the hardest difficulty. And I also leveled up pretty well as well. So it definitely works as an XP glitch and as the, to get all the hard difficulties. Now, this works as of patch 1.07. And this is the 9th of June. I got this game free from PlayStation Plus and it still hasn't been addressed. So I hope this tro uh, video can help you get the trophy or, you know, get the platinum as well. And leave a like and a subscribe if it did. Thanks.